Welcome back Himalayan to my traveling with SB series vlogs with Father Lai and I as we are traveling around Wellington as I'm trying to complete this before my next series over of the topics I'm hoping to address for you all. Just a quick introduction to the ones that I landed today. I'm at the Answers. I'm a host content creator on YouTube versus my podcast as well as a navigator or advocate navigating through life with autism and my new diagnosis with ADHD with mental health problems or conditions shall we say. So if you're into any of these and more that I do hopefully smash that subscribe button on the bottom right and call it to as well as turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I post. So, as you're aware, I've been talking about doing stuff to take you all on a journey through Wellington, right? So, as we know, Wellington prides themselves on their cafe culture, their coffee culture, their lively restaurants, so on and so forth. As I've noticed, when it used to be hustling and bustling with a lot of people, as you may have seen in one of my previous videos, for the four diggers four days over the late New Year period, which I'll link in the icon and in the description, you, you can see what we got up to in this. But as you are know, as I said, they're well justified for their delicacies as uh, as well as their cafes, restaurants, fine dining, and what have you. It just depends on your budget, like it does help your budget, Wellington does, as well as other parts of New Zealand, but as I said, Wellington is a home central place for your coffees, obviously, because as we know, New Zealand is really known for their coffee, being coffee knobs or lovers of coffee. This city truly runs on good coffee and perfectly poached eggs, as I've noticed. So, like I said, this one's going to be about the 14 of the best cafes in Wellington for the ultimate brunch best. As a recommendation, just take it off a grain of salt, because many others that you may have landed on the page will recommend different places, but that's fine, because each of your own, depending on your guys' value valuable money if you want it versus so as in saying that given them of the array of options seemingly growing in numbers every day of certain places of your cafes and so on and so forth in your coffee shop that they do this but as we know also when it comes to choosing which cafe to go to it can be so overwhelming because obviously Wellington of certain suburb township of Wellington can be a bit daunting so I'm hoping today as your little mini tour guide if you will to actually take you down to certain parts of my recommendations right now as I bring it to you depending on whether you're a weekend worker or a visitor or a long time local so just a heads up before continue that the recommendations I'm hoping to address you will have a map above me or even just in the description where you can find these restaurants, cafes and whatever I'm recommending to you all today. So, lucky for you guys, while I'm here taking you on a tour all around Wellington or parts of Wellington, I'm going to bring out to you a list of the best places of recommendations that I feel is deeming fitting to head to. So you can hopefully just sit back and relax and get a mug in your hand of a coffee of your choice and maybe a fancy toast on your plate in a flash. Gather up your family, friends or whoever at the time. Put on your loose clothes if you will because well, you're surely going to need it because obviously most of the restaurants cafes and that are I mean they do put on a really bloody good meal for you to enjoy and try out some of these bad boys recommendations that I'm going to list you trust me you're going to be in for a treat so let's begin this number one Maranui Cafe this is located in Lyles but and this one is a Wellington icon for their coffee shop on a weekend you can follow the legions of locals who make their way to Lyle Bay for brunch at this iconic venue shop or a tell on the local surf saving club that they've got in Wellington Converted from a lifeguard's lockout, the sea views are hard to resist or hard to beat. You'll soon see why they queue up. The queue is always for the tables is ending down the stairs, but the food itself is well, also well worth the wait though, however. Whether you're after a hearty breakfast of a big breakfast, if you're a big breakfast fan, down to a treat from the cabinets that they are in, as well as one of the very epic milkshakes. Obviously, it's also known as a Wellington institution, loved by for its alexic interior hearty menu and unbeatable views of the beach, as I mentioned. Not hard to see why this is a go-to place for Sunday brunch to spot for the locals around Wellington. This is obviously perfectly positioned by the sea as I mentioned and obviously in saying this it will give you a primo view of the sand, the ocean, the beach and the like if you're into the beach this is a place for you. Usually speaking of brunch obviously this is what Maranui does best obviously as a cafe if you will. The classically kiwi menu is usually simple yet delicious just what you need before or after a day at the beach if you are a beach goer. So, so on and so forth from a sweet start to the day you can't go past their house homemade cr sourdough crumpet that they make also served with orange and vanilla whipped cream as well or shall we say ricotta with a bit of honey or else for a cheeky morning wake up you've got to try one of their post worm triples to start your day off with a bang of a party next one is your Lorita Cafe this one is obviously located in Cuba Street Wellington Central this is the cool girl of the Wellington Cafe scene she's effortlessly stylish timeless and pretty damn popular in terms of their interiors Lorita has it nailed the long narrow space is minimalist and natural with simple no fuss styling this classic class vibe atmosphere is also reflected in their menu with their Holden classic dishes from their locally made sourdough ingredients or sauce ingredients. While everything on their menu is also trust me, you can also try it all. Their wood fired flat breads are their league of their own however and if you enter your bread salt and stuff. The current sausage, nerdier and mozzarella and gretamola kind of combo is pretty life changing as a recommendation. As well as their fantastic food menu, Lorida has also has an impressive drinks menu. So whether it's a chai latte or kombucha punch that tickles your fancy, you're in for a treat for this. So custom, okay, you've got some custom 
customized kind of cafe shop here. Okay, so, or shall we say more to the point, customs is the name of a cafe, Humble. This one is known located in Gunsney Street of Wellington. Again, in Wellington Central. So most of these might most likely be sounding like that at all in the Wellington Central base where by the light and I went into pass through Center Street. Without the combination of stacked chairs, dim light, however, in the closed doors, you'll never see customs empty. One of the custom favorite or the capital favorite coffee spot, Coffee Supreme, small but stunning flagship, joint joint lives up to its reputation. Custom transforms the humble toast into an art and masterpiece for you all. Toasty combos like your fleek fried egg or shall we say Cavallo, Nero and a are known to fly out the door all the time because of its popular tasting. Well, post hopped with everything butter, ruby, kraut, hot sauce and pickled peppers are devoured on site however also. Let's not forget the luscious focaccia sandwiches filled with their seasonal goodness that they offer on the table as well. Obviously the coffee is also top notch whether you're a fan of their fil of filter or it's just a sucker for an ice latte there's a choice for everyone. A friendly reminder though, however, if you head on a Saturday, be prepared to wait for a seat. These guys are loved like crazy. Next on the list for your cafe recommendations is The Hangar. This is known or located for in Dixon Street in Wellington Central also. With 10 years in the game, however, of this rest cafe, The Hangar is a Wellington staple. They serve up a killer all day menu. If you're feeling weak, try the lemon honey hot cake as a recommendation or just if you're a vegan, go for a vegan BLT. Yes, you read that right. If you're craving a little unami that is. For extra hungry people, the double smash patty cheeseburger with a side of paprika fries will work down a treat from these crazy magic. If you're after a real deal coffee experience, you're spoilt by choice at The Hangar, which is a flight coffee flagship cafe, hence the title of the name of this coffee shop. There's an abundance of options from filter to espresso, hot to cold, Rwanda to team or latte, but don't worry if you can't decide, however, go to a tasting flight and try the, the lot or just leave it up to the friendly team to guide you through something delicious. Even if you're just down to leave it, keep it simple, you walk out the doors with the best flat white of your life. Next on the list, Wimsuit Coffee Shop. This is located in Dixon Street, Wellington Central and Park Road and Minima. One of Wellington's most champion cafes, Wimsuit, is definitely doing something right. However, they've got a few days starting with what's inside the cup of theirs, bring out the best coffee for you. Organic People's Coffee, another Wellington born favourite of the locals, usually go for this, blows out the doors at record speed. Cafe funky atmosphere, however, hums with energy, yet remains cool and laid back. A testament to exceptional staff, no matter what or no doubt about it. You'll find some of the city's best cheese gone here, however, always toasted, nice and crispy for your liking, so it and so forth, as well as some generously ice cakes and easily loaded gourmet sandwiches. Sitting at the junction or juncture between Dixon Street and Courtney Place, amid some admittedly grungy scenery around you, swimsuits cobalt blue is electric and welcoming. Though so once a solely inner city gem, these guys have opened a second shop in the suburb, which is a Mitama, as I said earlier, judging by that, that's not just as much as fun. Next on the list of recommendations for your coffee shop is Olive. This is located in Cube Street, Wellington Central. Oliver is definitely a jewel in Wellington Central, or will know one for, as I said, the Wellington's Cafe Crown. It's a true classic, but the kind of that will keep getting better rather than attributing to its charm to the good old days. The menu elevates your classic brunch options and everything in between from light pink apple and coconut birch up to the more indulgent, which is the current chargo ready fillet sandwich is catching on the eye. Auto juice or coffee, these guys do flight coffee as well, and they do it very well, I must add. To complement your top higher brekkie of your choice, and your all day will be off to a fabulous start of the day of what you've got planned. Just a pro tip here from Matthew though. Snag a seat in the plant and do a court you and experience one of the dreamiest cafe atmospheres in the city if you're into just dreaming away. So next on the list of recommendations of the 14, Gopa. This is obviously in Cuba Street in Wellington Central. Since its inception in the year of 2006, Gopa has remained a well-known fixture of Cuba Street and for good reason too however. It's cosy and classic. It's the perfect place for comfort food along for pizza lovers that will rejoice pretty much every option is die for. And you've got to swing by for lunch on a Tuesday, however, as a recommendation when the beloved margarita goes only for $10. So it's good value for your money if you're looking for like doing cafes and restaurants to match fit your value of money when you're spending, depending where you want to be. Hence why I'm here as your little guide, hopefully, to take you on this. These, there are spectacular size, however, and small plates to match for you when you're feeling crispy, feel, feeling like crispy calamari, kale season. Highly, this is a highly good recommendation on scoper signature tomato salt, dusty sticky fry. Finally, a to scoper isn't complete without a cup of the lingerie, lingerie Italian hot chocolate, however. The trick is a well-famed, is definitely a world famous one in Wellington and once you've had your first sip you'll definitely want to come back for more. Next one on the list is Shushaw Cabaret. This one is near the Leonard of Tony outskirt of Wellington. Shushaw Cabaret is an electric or it's ladder made of a bunch of really awesome stuff that can you know meet your need. This is a vintage sign inch retro furniture and pinball machine that gives a space a quirky vibe while you travel inside there while a horse that looks like it may be from a merry-go-round hangs from the ceiling over a large central table. Adding a touch of the carnival magic to the cafe however because obviously it's a carnival magic 
your kefir when you all the feel. Don't get me wrong, you can have a look for yourself at this recommendation. One popular, especially on the weekends at the brunching hour, the cafe is always buzzing with the Get in early to get a table for a meal, however, as a suggestion to you all, or enjoy a takeaway of your cabinet food picnic by the day if you were to do so. Filling Vana, Shama, go for their trucker's breakfast menu, or of Sterling's egg, fried egg, and hand hug her chip, mothered in gravy. Their coffee made with wood tune beans, roasted in house, obviously goes perfectly well with one of their sweet treats like cake, donut, pies, and tart. Also, next on the list is Neo Cafe and Eatery. This one is located in Willow Street, Wellington Central. Neo does a modern twist on a classic really, really well. Located in Willow Street, as I mentioned. Though they are great for a lazy Sunday brunch, however, a cheeky working lunch and everything in between, depending on what time of day and the day you go in. Blonde wood tables and cute little house plants give the space a modern feel, helping the small venue feel much larger than it is, mate. Most likely, while the interiors are hard bet, their dishes are anything but. From buttermilk, pancake, their ch chili scrambled eggs, they know how to take all your time fave up to the next level and transform it into something even better for you. For a drink, why not step away from your usual flat white comfort zone and try one of their superfood lattes? Take your pick from matcha, turmeric, red velvet that are also all equally pretty and delicious. So in the next part over is your comes and goes. First one is Jackson Street Patoni. Obviously it's known for. If the grandma's always the first to see where you're brunching, you've got to pay comes and goes. As a visit, into a visit as a recommendation. Don't take my word for it. Take a word from them others that may have recommended this. Who is? Light and area with scandy inspired and it comes and goes makes the capital proud with this beautiful dining atmosphere. Where it really stands out amongst the crowd through it with aesthetically pleasing dishes. Think bright colours. Beautiful crockery and edible flowers. Since it's exemption in late 2016, Comes and Goes has earned quite the rep for having some of their most Instagrammable dishes in the region of Wellington. Get your hands on the vibrant booby mabubba if you're into that, or the spicy chicken katsu burger and you'll soon find out why they taste just as good as it they look. Next on the list of recommendations is Floriditas. Cuba Street, Wellington Central it's located. Put simply, Floriditas is one of Cuba Street's classiest of cafes. With a fresh inviting menu it feels as wholesome as it does with their creatives. These guys kill it from day to night. Swing by in the AM and start your day with something sweet and satisfying like their current luscious rhubarb porridge or banoffee pancake. More of a savoury brekkie fan? Look no further. Order their green eggs and ham, honey glazed ham off the bone plus po their poached eggs with water green and zesty hollandaise sauce. Or again even if you're just after some of the simple eggs they'll be just, just as delicious whichever way you like them. And served with their Stella Wellington sourdough toast. No matter what takes your fancy the foundation will be seasonal locally sourced ingredients for their finest highest quality of food sources that they've got around. Bet See, this is in the Parade Island Bay of Wellington. It's not just central Wellington of this is home to in this hip cafe. Betsy suburb Island Bay is now home to Betsy, a modern deli that prides itself on its fresh seasonal take on some classic meal. The vibe in Bet Betsy, however, is unbeatable, funky, fresh, and ever so friendly. Pop in for a lazy weekend breakfast. Try their house-made crumpets, slathered in passion fruit curd and vanilla bean cream cheese. Or if you're in short of time period, treat yourself to something to go from the insane selection of home made cabinet food. The best part about Betsy you may be wondering is a recommendation if you're really uh, cheeky they have a day on Friday free coffee Friday so on and so forth. So therefore every Friday their chalk bus on outside is updated with a different name of coffees though however just to be on your own if it's yours pop inside and you'll get a coffee on the house how lovely is that? You have free coffee on Friday Goods Manufacturing Cafe this one is in Hinaka Road Thorndon Wellington. If you're craving a pastry with your coffee goods is the place to go or be. Just as much as bakery as a as a bakery, this is also well known as a cafe. Everything that comes out of the goods kitchen is dreamy. Pick up a takeaway and a loaf of their sourdough on the way out to start your day or take a seat to enjoy their glorious almond croissant or this me Kogan almond with your brew. Even before you walk through these doors, you'll be charmed by their cobblestone laneway and cozy cottage vibe that await for you. Whether you sit outside or in, you'll feel away from the you'll feel far away from the hustle and bustle of the city life as you sink into a butter and sugar filled blast. Thornton residents are lucky to call this their own local cafe. Prefair battery. This is the last one on the list of the 14 cafes of recommendations in Wellington. So this one has mastered the art of a chic modern interior that will make your brunch feel ultra special and glamorous. Their staff are seemingly unflappable despite the fact that Prefab is almost always bursting at the seams with hungry customers every day. Seriously, if you're wanted to head there for their Saturday brunch, be prepared to wait for a table because obviously it's popular. Prefab really is adored by every man and his dog. Once you see the menu, you will definitely see why this is the case. Simple dishes made with fresh ingredients again bread bait on it's their site at, uh, what prefer does the best grab the eggs on sourdough and customize your meal by adding a side of bratwurst sausage and zani zeus halloumi enjoy the bottleless acme coffee while you eat and get a seat outside for the perfect dog spotting opportunity because obviously there's a lot of dogs that will come around so this quickly
hopefully ends the Pop Fools and Cafe's recommendations in Wellington. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Smash the like. Comment below if you've been to any of these cafes I've mentioned, past or present. What were your takes of it? Or if you've spotted a cafe that I haven't mentioned, feel free to comment it below so we can start a conversation. And before I leave also, basically there are going to be two videos up there. The top best or popular upload will be up there versus the second video should be a list of my travels with Father Lotta and myself of where I've been past and present so on and so forth so you can indulge into any of these just to feel like you're traveling away from your own homelands.